All right, so here's the thing. If you are brand new to YouTube, then you're definitely gonna feel these effects of low YouTube views, practically no matter who you are, unless you have already had success with YouTube or really understand how to do YouTube. Now, this is something that I've definitely been, you know, thinking about for many years. It's been a challenge. And over time, I've realized a lot of things. And so if you are brand new to my channel, you don't know what I talk about, then in general, I do tutorials, tech and YouTube. I have been on YouTube on this channel since 2013. And so at the time of this video, it's 2021. So that's like seven years now. And at the same time, I currently have 15,000 subscribers. So that's definitely not a lot uh, when you compare to, I guess, the general uh, channels out there who've been around for, you know, seven years. So that's the first thing. And then more importantly, the second thing is the views. Because no matter if you are a brand new YouTuber or you're a veteran, having low views is really a horrible feeling. You know, it absolutely sucks. It's something that I don't think any YouTube content creator wants, even if they say views aren't important, because at the end of the day, they are important. Because if people are not watching your video, what's the point of making your video because your content's not seen? And so whenever I went through this, um, this is something that I would say is definitely not easy. It does get easier over time, but whenever you see something like for this example, you know, I just published a new video, it has 78 views and if you look at your subscribers to view ratio some brand new channels with like only a few hundred subscribers or even less will get more views than my video so whenever you see these things as a creator there's many things going through your mind you're thinking like okay why are my you know videos not being seen um, the first thought is, is it the YouTube algorithm? Because the majority of times, it is the YouTube algorithm. There's really no way around that because whenever YouTube decides to push your content, then your videos are going to be seen. And obviously, it, you're going to have to have great content. That's one thing that I always say, you know, uh, YouTube algorithm is something that you cannot control, but the type of content you create is something that is absolutely in your control. So I never want to use the YouTube algorithm as the main excuse. Uh, for you not creating great content but at the same time it is a huge factor and so that's something that i go back and forth with but the reality is you have no control over the youtube algorithm and then the other thing is you know if you are creating uh, you know what you feel is great content and if you've been on youtube for a while you're always thinking like why aren't people watching my videos you know uh, where are all these people in my community you know and so that's when you really you know battle with this is it me is it my community is it a combination of both and then the other big thing is is this even worth doing okay because when you're getting very few views and you're spending a lot of time like if you look at my channel i have like over 1000 plus videos that's like thousands and thousands of hours and if you have to look at it objectively for the time for the money that you get because at the end of the day you know it has to be worth some of your time otherwise it's like you going to work for free and i don't think anybody wants to work for free and so that's always something that is there as well uh, what could you be spending your time with you know um, you could definitely be doing other things that will give you more value for the value that you're putting out and so all of these things and many many other reasons go through my mind as a youtube content creator and I'm pretty sure as a YouTube content creator, uh, you could understand and relate with me. Get thousands of royalty-free music and sound effects for all your creative needs. Whether you are a content creator, freelancer, or business, Audio has the perfect song for you at amazing prices. For more information, check out the fitter link in the description area below. But here's the thing. If you take a look at the, all those things objectively, maybe you're right you know maybe all these things are really not worth it at the end of the day when you think about it objectively the time that you're spending things that are completely out of your control like the youtube algorithm or people watching your videos you can't control uh, what they do uh, and then i'm thinking like okay so why am i still creating content well here's the message that i want to put out to people who are in this situation especially for people who are brand new to youtube 
try as much as possible to take a long-term approach. And let me show you what I mean by that. And so, as I showed you a little bit earlier, there's very few views here, right? For my recent videos. And you know, the number of views you get is really relative <laughs> to your channel and what you think views are. But in general, for the amount of subscribers that I have, getting less than 100 views or even less than 200 views, that's normally not a good view to subscriber ratio. However, if I sort these videos by most popular, you'll notice that videos that I created years ago, they're still getting views. I have, you know, uh, videos that have had thousands of views. And as a matter of fact, uh, there's been over 3.5 million views on my channel so far. And what is this telling me? Well, what that's telling me is that the content that I create does provide value to people out there. And then secondly, these videos are still getting views over time. And then finally, you know, thinking about it from a technical point of view, YouTube is the second largest search engine. The first largest search engine is Google. And more and more people are watching YouTube content on their televisions. And so YouTube is the new TV. And over time, you know, if you're patient, you're constantly improving your content, all of these video views are going to continually grow and more people are going to be exposed to you and your brand. And so that's kind of where I really think about the long-term aspect. If you take that long-term aspect and think about it that way, there's so much opportunity and potential here with YouTube. And I myself being a digital marketer, uh, I know that in terms of organic traffic for content marketing, there's simply not a better platform out there versus YouTube, hands down. I mean, you could do the whole blogging route, which is very hard to rank in SEO. You could try social media, which really isn't meant to last a long time because it's not searchable and people do not go to social media to search for things. Or you could try other video platforms, you know, maybe uh, decentralized platforms, or you could try Facebook or Vimeo or whatever, but none of them come close to YouTube. And then the other thing is, since this is owned by Google. Well, if you are doing searches, then your videos are more than likely going to show up uh, once they rank over time. And so there's more possibility of you being seen by people around the world. And then the final thing is, if you do take this long term approach, just think of all the skills and experience that you're gaining. Because I can tell you right now, learning all these skills from YouTube, and it's not just video editing, but it's really everything behind it. Learning how to grow a community, learning how to create a brand, learning how to run things like a business. All of these skills are valuable no matter what area that you go into. Whether you think you're gonna be creating business or not, all of these things that you're learning are what's necessary to actually run a business. So if any of you ever tried business, it's all the same thing. You are coming out here creating something and then if people find value in it, they're going to reward you with value. And obviously the value here at the end is money. Because whenever you know you grow your channel and you're able to get into the YouTube partner program, then you can make money from it, uh, from ads. But even before that, if you have a business or something, you could promote things on your channel. And so YouTube is simply the best place to market your business, your brand and yourself. And as I stated a little bit earlier, even if you don't see that, you don't feel like that's what you're doing, in the end, that's really what you're doing. And of course, you get all the other benefits of being a YouTube content creator, the whole community aspect. Finding people who value your content, finding people who have similar thoughts like you, that's an amazing feeling. And so it's a win, win, win. You know, it's just the fact that these things take time. Um, it's really difficult to go through these things. I'm definitely not saying it's easy because I still go through these things every day just thinking about those things. But whenever you take this much longer term approach and just kind of see it for the opportunities that YouTube provides, especially versus any other platform out there, there's just so many things that you could do here. It's absolutely incredible. And I'm going to continue creating content. You know, whenever I think about those things, you know, from the objective standpoint, from the community standpoint, from the business standpoint, there's really very few negatives that I could see uh, besides this emotional roller coaster. And of course, if you're not making a lot of money from your YouTube channel, that's definitely a huge hit. 
but try as much as possible to take a longer term approach and you see that over time this is going to be a good decision on your part and you thank yourself you thank your future self for making these decisions now and so if you actually had any thoughts in this uh, be sure to leave that in the comments area below and if you did want to see more of my youtube tutorials tips and thoughts i do have an entire playlist i'll leave that in the description area as well so as always if you did get value out of these videos be sure to share like and subscribe